Okay, the next layer I'm going to focus on is the black skin layer. So earlier we were just using this layer in order to paint very, either very subtle changes in color or very distinct patterns. And so now we're going to make that look a bit more realistic. So I'm going to be using the Cracks and Wrinkles Alpha Pack. It's the same one that I used in the Assembly Crane tutorial and in the Alien Leech tutorial. I'll still put a link here for it just in case you missed those. And what I'll do is I'll look for some of these chunkier alphas, like maybe, say, this one. And once again, using my skin material, choose a dark gray again. And I'll start to see if I can't enhance the way that these look. Just by adding some rougher patches. Pick a few different kinds, make sure they're not all the same. Although for this, I actually don't want there to be very much jitter in the color profile. Now for this, what I just did there is I actually stopped using my tablet. I'm just using a mouse now. And what I did was if I go into Edit, Preferences, and I went to Viewport, and I set the mouse wheel to control the brush rotation. So that way, just using my mouse wheel, as you see, I can rotate the brush freely. So with this, I can just keep clicking in order to place these sort of rough patches of darker skin. I want the edges of these lines to not be quite so smooth. So with a very small brush here, I'm just going to try and roughen them up a little bit. Now something else I might do to these is I might also then go in with my erasing tool, grab one of these scratcher alphas, maybe this one for instance, make sure I'm set to appropriate stroke mode, and start erasing bits of them too. So that way it's not all just one solid streak of black. You got a little bit of variation. In some areas the line may seem a bit weaker. There we go. Now to fill in this area back here, I may once again try and hide some of these faces. There we go. Now I have a very clear view of that area. We go in again with my brush, and I'll go to my reptiles skin scales, and I'll pick some of these. Because this is the alpha I actually used to sculpt this. I'm going to go in and start. Once again, you got to set. And I'll start painting in some of these scales over here. Okay, now let's focus on the glowing areas.